Hi everybody, I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. And we are continuing our Let's Play of Carrier. And the second I pressed record, our neighbors decided to go ahead and pull up into their driveway. And they are th slamming and bamming and thumping their music. So it may sound like an earthquake, may sound like music. If so, it's a song written by an artist in a musical key. But you probably... It adds to the ominous atmosphere. It's like, boom. 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 Yeah, boom. it, it kind of does. Uh, but um, Just think of it like Shambler's Heartbeat. It is kind of like Shambler's Heartbeat. In the last episode of Carrier, we got down to deck five. We're on deck five now? We're in Blood Lake. We're in the middle of the Blood Lake here, and um, we ran into a puzzle, and I honestly tried to figure out the puzzle um, off camera a little bit. Um, I got the first couple of things, but it fell apart, so I had to use I Am Nothing's walkthrough on GameFAQs.com there. Um, we also had the transmission from Jessifer, and I did a brilliant job of screwing up recording that for everyone. Well, it's like, you know, when you want to be done playing, and so you're like, oh, I don't know if I can get to the next save spot, so let me double back and go to the previous save spot, which right. we thought would be okay because we didn't really do that much, but... This game likes to kind of randomize the, like, transmissions of those kind of important story elements that just kind of seem to pop up at random, I, which seems to be one of the many, many design flaws of this game. I guess that's more realistic, though, because, like, you know, in most games, it's like, oh, you do a story beat, like, you solve this big puzzle or you fight a boss and you get some more, like, cutscene exposition. Right. But, like, that's not really how real life would work. Like, I'm not going to sit here and wait... Oh, I need to call him and tell him some information, but he hasn't beat this boss yet, so... I mean, that's fair enough, yeah, yeah but... And, like, the way this game... At least they don't call him the middle of the boss. Yeah, that that is very much <laughs> that true. That would be hilarious. Like, Jessifer, girl, I'm glad you're alive, uh, but uh, I gotta but go. But Shambler, Shambler, you know? <laughs> oh, so you're cheating on me with Shambler, so this is how it's going, huh? I see, Sergeant Ingalls. All right, input all the numbers. I got these first few numbers right, but then I just totally wanked it. Um, you know, it kind of reminds me a little bit of those puzzles they have at Cracker Barrel. You know, get it wrong and you're an ignoramus. You know, Two if your ghosts. parents ever dragged you to Cracker Barrel for dinner and you have a yeah. little pig puzzle. You know, I am I am not a fan of Cracker Barrel. No. You know, now that I'm looking at this puzzle, I kind of am an ignoramus because this was actually really easy. So how the hell did I screw this up so badly? We are all the ignoramus. <laughs> no, you're not the ignoramus. I was the one staring at this for 45 minutes trying to riddle this out <laughs> and um, just couldn't do it, you know? Alrighty. Good. At least some of the water's gone. <sighs> at least some of the water's gone. There we go. The water has receded a bit, but it doesn't look like it will drop any more. Uh-huh. I would adore a save room. I think there is one nearish here, but you do have to go through some other rooms to get to it. Right, and I can't trust this game not to, like, slam me with monsters, you know? And lowering water, that is a universal video game lingo for load this dude up with monsters. Let's see. Looks like I have not been in this room. Hopefully this is the magazine.
<laughs> we okay, needed is, that. Yes, that is one of the things you needed. To open the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, if I remembered where that thing was, we would be, you know, in hog heaven. But I don't know where the thing is, so we are in hog purgatory. Let's see what the map has to say. Looks like there are some doors you haven't been in. There are. Oh yeah, the neighbors are going at it hardcore now. It's been pretty warm here in the Queen City the past couple of days, and I love it! Right now, we are straight up hardcore sweating, and our minds are totally turned off, so y'all might be in for an interesting ride of cognition and verbal slurger blurger. A carrier fever dream. A carrier fever dream. That sounds kind of awesome. I'm not really one for the hot weather, but I heard it can kill the Rona, so... Yes, so we will take it gladly. Okay. Oh, uh, let me guess. I need to be like... I feel you. Alrighty. I'm just doing everything in my power to avoid going down. I know I should go down, but I'm really hoping there's a save station just really, really close to me. I'll try going across here. Forced perspective. What a great camera angle. Actually, I do love really wide shots. Uh, wide shots are cool, and I love a fixed camera angle, so... Yeah. I don't know if I necessarily love it in video gaming. Danny, go, buddy boy. Okay. Looking at the rooms I have not been in... There's a ladder. Do is I that a switch? It um. is, but he doesn't care. When you don't care about the switch. You know, I always wonder, like, in video games, like, how do the characters know which thing to interact with? Like, okay, you're playing Resident Evil 2 Remake. Yep, there it is. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and, like, he's in the library... Or she, if you're playing as Claire, whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. And, like, they take the red book. And, like, there's so many other books. A how, lot of them are red, yeah. How do they know? That is a good point. Also, a question I had about Carrier in particular. Mm -hmm. So, say everything we want happens and we get the best ending. You know, we save ourselves and we get all the non-infected people off the ship safely. Mm -hmm. And we sink the ship. Mm -hmm. Well, that probably won't kill all the Ark on there. It's still going to be there in the sea floor where fish swim. And, like, fisher people will come and they'll catch the fish. Um. And then those fish will be served to other humans. And I guess you could say, oh, well, cooking it will, you know, get rid of the virus. Okay, maybe. But what about sushi? These are actually really good points. Carrier 2, the sushi invasion. You know, I think they wanted to make a sequel to this game. Oh my god. Yes! Yay! And we picked up a level 1 energy drink from the corpse. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Back in the saddle and we, uh, we have a good deal of health. I mean, we don't have enough health for me to play the game like a moron, but we have some health. And you know, vegetarians wouldn't be safe in this scenario because it, the people who eat it can infect others. This is true. Yeah. 
I mean, these are all very good points. Like, yeah. What am I doing? I need more bottoms. That... In some ways, I feel like that would probably be a more interesting game. Like, ooh, you don't know if you've been exposed or not. Hitting a little close to home, huh? Like, what if there was a theme park that had, like, a sushi-themed food festival? Right. And people started going berserk in the theme park? And you would have that as your backdrop. That would be really cool. So if any Hollywood big shop producers are watching or this... Or any um, Halico programmers? Any any uh, Jalico uh, peeps? Yeah. Um, I don't know how much Jalico uh, is doing these days, but... Um, okay. Seven, two, I need to replenish my stock for nine of them. Three, we're learning how to count today. Four. It's kind of like an Animal Crossing getting our Five. bell ticket vouchers. Oh my gosh, those uh, bell vouchers are so tedious. But man, they are such a good value. I like value. That should be enough. Alrighty. We'll go ahead and save again. I love it. I love being in a quasi good position, you know? It's always good to have a backup save in case I go off the rails and just really start doing some stupid gameplay here. Alright, um, so... Guess I'll just walk around and explore? There are little monsters right outside the door here, so I'm not in love with that, but, uh... Actually, Scanner says we're clear. I like that. <gasps> Good job, game. Yeah. <gasps> and they're behind you, too. Ha <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, here he comes. Is it, does it always have to be reload ammo time? Were we introduced to a new monster there? That kind of screamed, um, hey, I'm a new monster. Yeah, they look more like your typical zombies. Like, normally when a game gives, like, a bit of a cutscene thing like that, that kind of indicates, hey, I'm a new monster, look at me. Or it could just be them trying to be cinematic. I hear that. Um, danger! What danger? My gun can't pick up the danger! Wait, up there. Up. Down. Like in the hallway. Like to the right. Left. Like straight ahead of you. I thought I saw something.
I wonder if I should equip my lifter. Or even my pistol. You know, I don't play with the pistol as much as I should. It's 19 o'clock! Okay, it's a little guy. So I wonder if the welder would be a better option. I hate a monster that I can't really see all that well, though. Oh, cool, we can aim. Good. Yeah, I like knowing what I'm doing. As most people more than likely would. Uh, left or right, Squeak Do? Um, like my politics, let's go to the left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we always try to avoid political talking, but Squeak Do is totally lefty. I mean, if they watched episode one, then. My um, commentary yeah, on the story. They could if the North would just that. share the resources, I don't get how that's a controversial opinion. I mean, oh, you probably need a bomb. bomb yes, or I could ask the neighbors to um blow it up with their insanely loud music. <laughs> Ho oh ho! Let's see what we got in here. No? Hey, get back in there. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> they didn't tune in to see you run away. <laughs> that, that is true. <sighs> Oh there god! Is. Oh god! Oh! There they are! Yeah! Get him! Lord have mercy! Okay, I hear you. Are you sure you guys didn't tune in to see me run away? <laughs> Maybe you need to move forward a little to trigger him. Oh no, there he is. Gosh, the high we were waiting forever. Seriously. It's quiet. Good. I like quiet. Oh yeah, this is a ward room, so yeah. What's a ward room? I imagine it's like... Something I'll put up uh, on text when I look up the meaning. <laughs> is it like the nurse's office? Do you, you know you got your iPad. Look it up. What does ward room mean on a naval ship? We're learning, you guys. I never claim to know everything. Actually, I know scant little. It's kind of weird that the water in this is, like, green. Probably because of all the plant gunk in it. Yeah, probably. Can I love. Can you imagine what it feels like and smells like on that ship? Oh, oh God, I bet yeah. it's a hot, stinking mess. 
A commissioned officer's mess on board a warship. What? So, like, a commissioned officer where they live on a warship. Because this is a warship. Um, they're getting ready to do some war. Why is it called a warship? In the 1700s, the British Navy had a compartment on ships called the wardrobe, which was used for storing prizes of war. During World War II, officers gathered in the ward room to eat meals. This isn't a cafeteria. Hmm. That is weird. <laughs> okay, so uh, someone actually Googled. <laughs> you know how it'll show you other related things that people have Googled? That's always entertaining. <laughs> Someone Google, do officers eat while enlisted? Yeah, I, I imagine they would. Oh, wait, no, this says with enlisted, but that makes even less sense. Well, like, I guess, like, if you're at a higher rank, would you have a higher rank eating with a lower rank? I would say yes. Let's all be one community. I don't know. You know, it's the truly great directors who um, will actually eat their lunch with the crew. I mean, that's fine if you're making movies, but um, when you're making war, it's uh, maybe a little uh, bit of a different scenario there. But we got an object here. Ooh. Um, lore. Lore. A uh, note left by a sailor. It's all over. I'm out of rounds. I'm bleeding. If there were no flooding, maybe I could get to the control room. I could the lock deactivation panel. Eight, two. Was that the puzzle you just did? There's no way that could have been the puzzle because that would have been totally wrong. And, like, I feel like we had to lower the water to get down here. There's nothing on the desk. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Wait, so why did I go into the ward room? To get that lore. Okay. Fair enough. We we like some good lore. Yeah. Like, I like to pick up all the lore when I'm playing the game. Oh, you know we missed the lore. Like, the lore that actually had the answer to the puzzle. The lore didn't say go to gamefacts.com. I, I feel like that was a puzzle that you could fig. Well. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. I, I feel like that's a puzzle that they could expect people to figure out. It's not like the sort of puzzle that's like, oh, what's the code to this safe that you couldn't possibly deduce? <laughs> I see. <laughs> Awkward moments on the Heimdall. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Shambler when you need him? Seriously. Yeah, Shambler, we might have to have you arbitrate a thing for us here. Yeah, I don't... I guess maybe I kept pressing... Dude, I should have figured that out, though. Like, uh, yeah, no, uh, you're, uh, you're not throwing shade, and if you are throwing shade, I take it gladly, because that was... Like, with the numbers I was coming up with, why the hell didn't I get that? I think I, when, like, the one branch, I kept going the wrong way. So, that was it. And I just couldn't rack my brain. And I'm doing other things. Don't ask what they are, because I don't have a good answer for you. <laughs> Alrighty. Nope. Hey, get back in there. I know. <laughs> Why is it always my first instinct I go into a room with growling? Okay, better run. Whoa. And better stay on my seat there. He's so scared that he's falling out of his seat. You know. Hey, do you guys like how our chairs are squeaking? Like... I don't know why the chairs are, um... Oh, and I'm squeaky. really bad at sitting still, so... <laughs> this is probably an audio nightmare for you. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, clearly I have uh, stopped caring about the audio <laughs> sounding good. 
I forget which episode that was of this playthrough, but there was one, man. I wasn't even close. If you guys all wanted to not be here... Okay. Cool. But... Object. Where is this? Oh, look at these things! No response from the, from the thing. We're in the radio room right now. Object. What do we got here? Three pistol magazines. Hot darn! No response. You should probably try all of them. Yep. Okay, I tried all of them. Okay, so what's the point of this room? Pistol magazines. Really? I see. So... Look, there's another room down there that you haven't been to. Looks like there's a couple. Yeah, but there are also... Okay. Might run by the magazine and uh, give it a quick save. Yeah, what? I hate it when there's a room and it's like the room doesn't serve a purpose. One game that is really good about every room has some sort of purpose is Metroid. I love me some Metroid. I need to talk more about Metroid. It's my biggest fandom, and I feel like I spend very little time on my channel actually talking about my well, biggest fandom. I mean, in fandom. all fairness, there hasn't been too much news recently. Yeah, the last game was three years ago, and it's been radio silence, legit radio silence for, on Metroid Prime 4, so... Well, probably the Rona didn't do them any favors. This is true. So, like literally everything else. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Yay! You used all of that card. I did use all of that card. That's the best feeling in Resident Evil when you get to throw a key away. Back in there. I don't want to be in there. I, I legit don't know if I actually want to be in there. Isn't that little room up there the magazine? Yeah, so I want to go to the magazine go... and then go to the scary room. Well, you just want to see me go to the scary rooms. Yes, everyone wants the scary room. Did you guys tune in to watch me get scared, or did you tune in to watch me run like a baby? <laughs> I think we all know the answer to that. He ain't dangerous no more. He ain't dangerous no more. I feel like this whole ship probably smells like boiling cabbage. Yeah! Ugh. <laughs> oh. I like not being entirely screwed, though. That's a good feeling. Yep. Alright, so we're back at the magazine, and um, I think this is an okay place to um, call this episode. Yeah. Yeah. I We didn't do a super lot. I mean, we did some exploring. Everything we explored was useless, but that's not my fault. There was a fun scene with some zombies. There was a fun scene with some zombies. There's me running scared. There's me not figuring out a pretty simple puzzle. It, I should have uh, riddled that bad boy out, but it is what it is. Uh, as time goes on, you the, fir the brain cells are the first thing to go when you start aging, man. But, <laughs> but, um, anyway, I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampant Productions. I'm Selena Rolfus. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You guys know you're the best fans of any YouTuber on the entire planet. And we'll see you next time with some more carrier fun. Bye! Bye.